In this scam, they put the mark in a situation that they'll do anything to get out of. And who can resist the temptation to save on a hefty fine? When a person becomes angry or nervous, they are far more likely to make a rash decision. And it's at this vulnerable point that a hustler can manipulate a mark into doing something they shouldn't. And there's nothing more likely to get Brits upset and hot under the collar than car clamping. Today, Alex will play the role of a car clamper, aided by a company van, fluorescent jacket, and an ID badge. Jess is gonna be the convincer and the whole scam relies on her putting in a convincing performance as a clamped motorist. Not only must she play the victim, but she must also side with the mark, lure them into a false sense of security and persuade them to part with their cash. Paul has parked his car and texts Alex and Jess the directions. For this con to work, there needs to be a ticket machine and a space near Paul's car for a mark to pull into. They find the road and park up behind Paul's car. Now they just have to wait. It's not long before someone spots the space and pulls up. This lady has unwittingly become the mark. She checks the ticket machine. It's after 5 p.m., so she should be okay. The mark is gone, it's time to get to work. Alex will clamp the Mark's car and Paul's car. Jess will pretend that Paul's car belongs to her. She quickly puts up a notice informing drivers that parking here is suspended and anyone who fails to comply will be clamped and fined. The cars are clamped and Jess gets into position. A few finishing touches and everything's in place. Now they just have to wait for the mark to return. The mark returns and Jess swings into action. Excuse me, have you done that? Excuse me? Have you put the clamp on my car? Yeah, Why? you're not allowed to park here. Don't be it's ridiculous, a it's a tiny sign. I'm sorry, it's a very clear sign. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Well, there's a fine you have to pay, and once it gets... You pay it, I can come round and get them off. How much is the yeah. fine? The fine's 120. Is this I'm your car? Yeah. Yeah, well, you need to call... What do I do pay. now? Sorry, what do I do now? Because I need to get to work. I was there for one minute. I'm I know, but did you read the sign? I didn't even notice the sign. Sorry, well, there's a big to, sign right here, right off. by the ticket machine. You should really know where to park legally. Excuse yeah? me, sorry. How do I get that off? Because I've got to get to yeah, work now. You call the number, you call the number, you pay the fine, oh. they get me... They tell me when you've paid, I come round, I take it off. Well, can't you just take it off now? Because I'll pay now, eh? then you not just take it off now. Well, you need to pay the fine, you get in a queue, I'll come back about an hour, an hour and 20 well, what, minutes. What do you mean I get in a queue? Eh? What do you mean I get in a queue? You get in a queue after you've paid. The hustle takes on an unsuspected turn, and the mark walks off just as Jess was about to throw her the bait. You know what? She might come back. I know she will. The hustlers have now found themselves in a dangerous situation. They don't know where the mark has gone. She may have gone to call the council or the police. The whole scam is in jeopardy. She'll come back. She's coming back, she's coming back. The mark returns and the con is back on track. She went to get a friend for moral support. This isn't good for our hustlers. A person with a clear head could potentially put a stop to the scam. Time for Alex and Jess to get back into character. The sign is very well, I can't clear. that you're standing here right now and I have to wait for you to go all the way around. Now that the mark is back, Jess isn't going to waste any time getting straight to the point. No, I just put on the plans. Why can't I just give you the money now? Then you can just because I'm not off. allowed to take cash off you. She'll offer Alex £50 to remove the clamp, but will this influence the mark? Well, I don't I'm... have £120. What if I just give you 50 Can you not just take it off now? Do you know how many people try to give me... For 50 quid, me losing my job, it's not worth it. So what if it both give you 50 
quid, then we take it off. That's 100. Then we take my clamp off for that. Yeah, but you can't tell anybody I took it off because I could lose my job. All right? Yeah, uh, I want to help you would out. Would you do that? Would but you do that? Would you just take them off now? It's better than 120. And right. we, can you do it now, though, please? I'll do it now. Away. Thank but you. Thank you. Can't, you. Thank you. A, you just can't tell that. anybody I've done this. I haven't printed off the tickets, but, you know, you could get into serious trouble as well. So okay. you've got to keep, can you, keep it still. Just do it now, please. Just right. hurry up. The mark's taking the bait, and with that, Alex goes ahead and takes off the clamp. Given the opportunity to pay £50 rather than £120 and have the clamp taken off immediately was too good an offer to refuse. Right. Are you sure there's no ticket then you haven't There's no ticket. Through? There's no ticket. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank but you better you. move your cars now because somebody else might claim for you. With the clamp off, the mark is overcome with relief and more than happy to pay Alex his £50. She doesn't waste any time hanging around and makes a quick getaway with her friend. With it being this easy to make £50, Alex gets straight back to work. By clamping another unsuspecting motorist, he can start his scam all over again. Come and park here, I dare you. The scam works because the victim, in the end, thinks they're getting one over the authority figure. They've been offered the opportunity to pay a lesser fee, therefore for them it's a victory. I parked my car there for literally like two minutes. I didn't notice the sign on the back of the um, pay and display thing saying you're parked here illegally. I came back and I had a clamp on there. How does the mark feel when she finds out she's been conned and Jess played an integral part? She was in on it. I said to that, I said to that lady that the sign was not there. And she went, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I said, oh. Went down there, I told my friend, I was like crying. I was like, I just got clamped, I can't believe it. I was just, and then the 120 quid, I thought, does it really cost that much to get your clamps taken off? And then he said, oh, I'll do it now for 50. So I was like, all right, I'll just give you the 50 and get it taken off now. When you park your car, just have a look around, look at the signs and make sure that you haven't parked illegally. Now in this situation, you must play everything by the book. Don't try to bribe anybody, because if something does go wrong and there is a problem, then you've got nobody to turn to, because you yourself have committed a crime.